Hi, happy Monday to everyone out there. I hope you guys had a great weekend and that you're preparing for the rainy week we have ahead. We really need the rain. I just wanted to get online and I wanted to share with you this morning some test results that I'm looking at for a patient who's getting ready to come in today. Um, this is a patient who came to me with a history of different neurotransmitter imbalances, so brain chemistry imbalances. Um, he was diagnosed 23 years ago with bipolar and has a severe a history of severe depression and anxiety, um, even to the point of uh, having tried to take his life. Um, this pains me a lot, um, and of everything that I do in my practice, Working with people with brain chemistry imbalances is my most favorite and most passionate thing to do. And um, I have, you know, I have a lot of patients who come see me and, and this is the thing that I get the most excited about. And I wanted to share this with you. Um, as most of you know, my work is data driven. And so I'm getting ready to show you some befores and afters or the progression rather, because we're not finished with him yet. And I want to show you how we do our work. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Are you ready? Here we go. So. This man is 64 years old. He came to see me at the end of October. By the time that we started working with him uh, and got all of his labs in, it was about the end of November. We started working with him before all of his labs came in. And you can see here that uh, these are the, the worst symptoms that he had, including anxiety and depression, a lot of fatigue, uh, inability to focus. He had a lot of gut issues that he's had for many, many years, and including soft, unformed stools, bloating, and, and a lot of stomach pain, which he had seen his doctors for with, uh, with no resolution to that issue either. And he also had issues sleeping. Um, also, he was on, when he first started with me at the end of the fall, he was on um, a milligram of Xanax as needed, 600 milligrams of lithium carbonate, AM and PM, and 125 milligrams a day of Lamictal. So we did his neurotransmitters, and uh, let me show you what we got. So the results came back um, in November, and when we came in here and we looked, we were able to see that his serotonin was too low. Um, his GABA was, even though it's within the normal range, when we take into consideration the whole picture, this was probably a little bit on the low end for him. It, it, it wasn't helping him to uh, counterbalance for some of the other ones that were too low. Um, dopamine was too low. I'm not going to go over every single one of these, but the, the big players, the dopamine was too low, his norepi was too low, but his epi was too high. So he was in fight or flight, having a lot of anxiety just not feeling well and we put him on a protocol based off of all of his genetic data neurotransmitter data and his blood work because we needed to work on his gut as well as you know um, most of you who work with me that a lot of your neurotransmitters are made in your gut so we have to take a whole body holistic approach to this kind of work so let's take a look at this here's the after um, let's start at the bottom here um, he, we can see that his PEA, which was out of range, um, it was right here, is now within range. His histamine, which also was really, really low, is now within range. It's right in the middle. Um, glycine also, glutamate also. His epinephrine that was having him in fight or flight, we were able to bring that down and get him within range. His norepi, which was too low, we were able to get that back in range. His dopamine looks wonderful now. If you look back here, it was very, very low. Um, his GABA is nice and high. Um, his serotonin is also high. But take a look here. He's, he's, he's asymptomatic. This is the first part of the process. I always tell the patients, we can't fix every neurotransmitter in one shot. This is a process and it takes time. And this is why we go back in and we do the labs every eight weeks, every 12 weeks, depending on the severity of the case. Um, we needed to get his some of his primary neurotransmitters up, which would also bring up some of the other ones uh, that were also too low. Now that we have this data, we can go back in and we can modify his protocol 
so that we can take the serotonin, which is the only one out of range, a little high, but again, he's asymptomatic, meaning he's not having any symptoms from that. He's actually feeling great right now. And we can go ahead and we can bring that down. By the way, an update on his medications, and he's been working with his, with his um, medical doctor who had him on these meds. He's been very, very supportive of the work that we're doing. He's completely off of the lithium, completely off of the Xanax, and he is only now on the Lamictal. And so I can't wait to show him these results. I was so excited to share this with you guys today. And I'm going to take more time out this year to share with you more of these amazing results. I hope you have a fantastic day and that this made you smile because it sure made me smile. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.